In the fast-paced and constantly evolving landscape of modern air defense, the emergence of China's FK-2000 system represents a major step forward in short-to-medium-range interception technology. Developed by the China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation KASIC, this advanced mobile surface-to-air missile SAM, platform is designed to protect critical assets against an increasingly diverse array of aerial threats. These include low-flying fixed-wing aircraft, helicopters, unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, cruise missiles and precision-guided munitions, targets that often operate within the low-altitude envelope and demand fast, adaptable countermeasures. The FK-2000 embodies China's ongoing drive toward creating a layered and highly mobile air defense network that can respond with precision and speed in the heat of modern conflict. The FK-2000 traces its origins to the PLA's growing awareness in the late 2000s and early 2010s that air threats were shifting away from traditional high-altitude bomber and fighter attacks toward more complex, low-altitude saturation strikes. The widespread proliferation of drones, loitering munitions and standoff weapons created a vulnerability in existing systems. While the long-range HQ-9 and medium-range HQ-16 systems provided formidable coverage against aircraft and ballistic missiles, there remained a critical gap at shorter ranges. The FK-2000 was developed to close that gap, drawing on lessons from foreign systems like Russia's Panzerus one but incorporating China's own technological advancements to better fit domestic operational needs and export ambitions. Technically, the FK-2000S design reflects the philosophy of multi-layered engagement within a single vehicle. Mounted on an 8x8 wheeled chassis, the system integrates a modular weapons package that combines 12 short-range surface-to-air missiles with two high-rate-of-fire 30mm cannons. This dual approach allows the system to address threats at various ranges. Missiles for interception at distances up to approximately 25 kilometers, and cannons as a last line of defense for threats within 1.5 to 3 kilometers. The missile system uses command guidance supported by an advanced phased array radar, while electro-optical sensors provide redundancy and target identification in environments where radar performance may be degraded by electronic countermeasures. Mobility is a central strength of the FK-2000. Unlike fixed or semi-mobile point defense systems, the wheeled platform allows rapid repositioning to match the pace of mechanized ground forces or to adapt to shifting operational requirements. The chassis high road mobility ensures that the FK-2000 can accompany armored brigades, defend forward deployed assets, or quickly redeploy to safeguard high-value fixed installations such as airfields, logistics hubs, or strategic infrastructure. This mobility is especially valuable in scenarios involving fast-moving conflicts where static defenses could be bypassed or overwhelmed. The system's radar suite plays a crucial role in its tactical value. The integrated search radar provides 360-degree coverage, capable of tracking multiple aerial targets simultaneously. Once threats are detected, the fire control radar and electro-optical tracking systems engage, ensuring that missiles and cannons are queued to intercept. The ability to operate in heavy electronic warfare environments gives the FK-2000 a significant edge in modern battlefields, where adversaries are likely to deploy jamming and deception tactics to blind or confuse defensive systems. From a strategic standpoint, the FK-2000's role extends beyond protecting single points. Within the PLA's doctrine of layered air defense, the FK-2000 acts as a mobile protective shield for both maneuvering units and stationary assets. While HQ-9 batteries cover long-range threats and HQ-16 systems address medium-range engagements, the FK-2000 focuses on the short-range, low-altitude domain, creating a dense protective web when deployed in concert with other systems. This layered arrangement ensures that threats are engaged at multiple points in their trajectory, reducing the likelihood of successful strikes. China's emphasis on such integrated systems reflects an understanding of modern aerial threat dynamics. In potential future conflicts, China expects to face adversaries equipped with precision-guided weapons launched from a variety of platforms, fighters, drones, naval vessels and even ground-based missile systems. The FK-2000's flexibility and mobility allow it to adapt to these multi-domain threats, making it an essential component of China's rapidly modernizing air defense network. Internationally, the FK-2000 also serves as a platform for strengthening defense cooperation with partner countries. As an export-ready product, it offers nations an affordable yet capable alternative to more expensive Western or Russian systems. Its ability to operate in diverse terrain, from deserts to coastal regions and even urban environments, 
makes it attractive for countries with complex defense needs. This export potential not only bolsters China's defense industry revenues but also enhances Beijing's strategic influence through defense partnerships and technology transfers. In comparing the FK-2000 to foreign equivalents, its similarity to the Russian Panzerus I is often noted, but there are key differences. While both systems integrate missiles and cannons for short-range defense, the FK-2000 emphasizes modularity and network compatibility, reflecting China's increasing focus on systems integration and digitization. Furthermore, improvements in radar processing and electronic warfare resistance give the FK-2000 certain advantages in contested electromagnetic environments. These design considerations indicate that China is not merely replicating foreign systems, but iteratively improving upon them to meet its unique strategic and export requirements. The FK-2000S deployment also hints at its potential evolution. Future upgrades could include longer-range missiles, integration with unmanned aerial reconnaissance assets for extended situational awareness, and even enhanced automation for target engagement. In an era where drone swarms and hypersonic weapons are emerging as new threats, the FK-2000 may serve as a foundation for future close-range air defense solutions that incorporate AI-assisted tracking and autonomous firing capabilities. In the broader context of modern warfare, the FK-2000 symbolizes a shift toward agile, network defense systems capable of rapidly responding to diverse threats in real time. Its combination of mobility, layered engagement capability, and adaptability ensures it will remain a cornerstone of China's defensive strategy for years to come. As the pace of aerial threat evolution accelerates, the FK-2000S continued development and integration will play a key role in ensuring China's air defense remains resilient, flexible, and capable of meeting the demands of 21st century conflict.